Only the best ears can manage to hear the mumble of prayers over the traffic of downtown Brooklyn. And in a New York rush to get where they're going, not many noticed a quiet priest handing out pamphlets. Led by Monsignor Philip Riley, a pro-life mission known as the Helpers of God's Precious Infants stood outside a clinic downtown. They hoped to change even just a single woman's mind. The inside, they don't get counseling. The only counseling they're going to get is on the sidewalk. The inside, they do not show them and focus clearly for them. You know, the sonogram, you see? And in fact, many places, if they did, those workers would be fired on the spot. We make it known to them, we encourage them, we inform them, and we try to give them further help that they need. They follow a New York law that makes it a crime to harass a person within 15 feet of clinic doors, but it doesn't apply to them. They're not harassing. They are praying and offering counsel. People realize, look, you're, you're not breaking any law. You're not going to get arrested. You come and pray outside an abortion clinic. It's your right. It's a constitutional right. And it's very important that you do so. Come for the love of God, you see. The, the people need you. Sidewalk counselors like Monsignor Riley are very happy with the Supreme Court decision, believing it will have far-reaching effects, allowing even more to practice as they do. The importance of the decision was that it will not be copied, mimicked across the country by others who are totally ignorant of constitutional law that have been elected to local positions. On the other hand, um, it enables people to realize, look, when you're praying outside an abortion clinic, when you're offering materials, uh, that is totally your constitutional right. There's nothing breaking law. And when you're doing a peaceful, prayerful way, the people are very grateful to you, okay? They're very grateful to you. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.